Tonight, the cause of a massive fire that destroyed a vacant historic church in North St. Louis last night remains unknown. This is the third recent fire at the former St. Augustine Roman Catholic Church in the St. Louis Place neighborhood. Thank you for joining us. I'm Ann Allred. And I'm Mike Bush. Records indicate it's a city landmark and owned by the city. Five your Science Diamond Palmer is live in studio with more details from the fire department and neighbors. Diamond. Well, Mike and Ann, the fire burned for nearly two hours at the vacant building. The St. Louis Fire Department says the cause of the fire is still being investigated. One of the things investigators are considering, along with other causes, is if a homeless person was seeking shelter and trying to stay warm. For the third time since 2022, flames bursted out of the nearly 130-year-old building known as the former St. Augustine Roman Catholic Church. Discharge one. Nestled in the corner of Lismore and Hebert streets, flames reached the height of the 250-foot steeple. 60 firefighters fighting the three-alarm fire Monday evening. Neighbors, including Sue Rakers, came Tuesday to photograph the crumbling history. Buildings like these are hard to maintain um, and keep up, but they're treasures. And the city, I just wish the city would take more interest in trying to preserve them. City documents show it's owned by the city's Land Reutilization Authority. It's designated as a city landmark and listed on the National Register of Historic Places. And before the city owned it, a couple tried to restore the church, calling it Project Augustine. But plans quickly fizzled in 2020 when they couldn't receive enough donations for restoration. It's unique. Charles Rawlings, a neighbor in the area, is calling on the city to do something more. We need to find some way to either barricade them up or just guard them off and renovate them. The fire department's chief, Dennis Jinkerson, says the building is unsafe and at risk of collapsing. So I'd rather have seen it taken down the right way so that we protect the homes that are still viable on the street. But, but then again, you look on the other side of that, it's like, this is a landmark. This is a beautiful piece of architecture built in the 1890s. It's unclear what the future of the building will be, but Rakers wants to take photos as long as it's around. There's so much that St. Louis has already lost, so we just try to document it while we can. The fire department confirms the building department was on scene last night and the land reutilization authority, the division of the city that owns the church, tells us they'll conduct an analysis of the property and continue to look for ways to secure vacant buildings.